If you've been dealing with weather damage at your home, you might be looking for someone to come and help you with the cleanup. But Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills tells us tonight that there are some questions you need to ask so you don't get ripped off. Need help with it or you got to take care of it? I'm waiting on the insurance company. Mittens Tree Service, the latest to approach Stephen Satterfield. Oh, I got about four estimates yesterday and uh, three today, including this gentleman. All here because of what they see in front of his house and his neighbors. Mostly large trees that have split or toppled and need to be removed. We got estimates from 250 to 1250. Same job. To cut down and chop up this 100 foot pine. See this? This one, it was all the way across here. The Gibson brothers burning a small pile of branches. I think they were careful to ask questions before hiring. The insurance bonded thing was our biggest concern with the size yeah. of this tree. Yeah. You know, we couldn't take a chance on just having somebody do it and end up on the house. Robert Wilson, who owns tree bodies, agrees. He was among those out surveying the damage and soliciting work. Wilson says it's important to see proof of insurance get at least three written bids and never pay in advance. Normally, if a company's been in business, they won't ask for any money until the job's done. I would not pay a dollar until the job's completely done. You know, you don't want to give any upfront money or anything like that. He's offering to do it for 13? Yeah. This contractor also pointed out other jobs he was doing in the area so Satterfield could see the work and get referrals. Another thing you can do is call the Better Business Bureau or the Attorney General's office to see if any complaints have been filed against the contractor you're thinking about hiring. On the City Beat, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.